Oh, hello. Are you an at-risk urban youth who may be thinking about joining a gang? Why, yes. Yes, I am an at-risk youth. When I am not shooting white people for no reason, doing drugs, or fathering children out of wedlock, I often wonder if I should join or form a violent gang of godless reprobates. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is an option. Instead of rolling and pimping and uh, breaking your foot off in someone's ass, why not come to the First Monsterterian Church? We have an at-risk urban youth program that will save you from a lifetime of drugs, premarital sex, and gun violence. So come on down, won't you? I did. So what do you guys think? Awesome, huh? Urban? Opinionville has less than 3,000 people living it. It's a rural community. We all know what the word urban is code for. We don't have any gangs here. And thanks to my at-risk urban youth outreach program, there never will be. You should thank me. Gangs are dangerous. Like the Illuminati, the most dangerous gang in the solar system. They invented crack, Red Bull, peanuts, and other dangerously addictive substances. I thought they were more like a cabal than a gang. Really? I thought they were more like a mystic order. Well, whatever they are, they'll never get a foothold here, thanks to me and my federally funded outreach program. Thank you, forgotten Bush-era changes to public funds policy. So, you're scamming the government out of money by creating a program that isn't actually needed? Well, maybe gangs will try to take over here in the future. Haven't you seen the movies? You know, like Robocop, The Running Man, uh, Streets of Fire. If movies have taught me anything, it's that gangs can pop up anywhere. Think of it as a preemptive outreach program. A profitable preemptive outreach program. That's not like you, Fundy. Because I'm too moral? No, because you're too stupid. He's right. Who helped you with this scam? Did somebody say scam? Why am I not surprised? Look, you two, gangs are a real problem in other parts of the country, and you're taking money that could help kids out of gangs. Which gang? Like a uh, street gang or the Christian gang that Fundy's got? My church is not a gang. Do you have an initiation ritual for new recruits? No, you just have to be baptized into the faith and then prove that you are committed to the church and its teachings. Sounds like an initiation ritual to me! And what happens if you go against other members of your gang? You know, believe different things and that kind of bullshit. Well, if they can't get with the doctrine, then they're out! But that's not the same thing. Vermont, are you saying that any organization or club that has an initiation, tests, and uh, routine practices are gangs? Yeah, like the police. You gotta swear an oath? Wear the same clothes, follow their rules, and have you ever heard what happens to cops who report other cops for misconduct? The police don't rob people. Yeah, uh, sure they don't, Fundy. So, Congress is a gang. The IRS is a gang. The Weebelows are a gang. The Salvation Army is a gang? Oh, even businesses, I guess. Especially businesses. Just a bunch of people who make promises of behavior in order to join a group of like-minded individuals where if you disagree with the group think, there are repercussions. You get voted out or you get fired or you get shivved with an ice pick and then chopped up into cat food. No, don't make Play-Doh out of words. A gang are a bunch of bad guys who wish to do bad things, period. But if they follow the same basic rules as the Boy Scouts or the Elks Lodge or the Freemasons, what's the difference? I don't know, there just is. Good, righteous, holy people don't form gangs. Skeptics and atheists do that kind of horse mess. No, we don't. Most of us are proud of our individualism. There is no atheist gang. As a general rule, we are not joiners. Oh yeah? Atheists plus ring any bells? 
Eh, the way I figure it, it's in our nature. When we make a group of anybody, usually the first thing we do is make a bunch of rules. Don't matter if you're a Baptist or a LARPer or a member of the senior prom committee. Except for me. I'm a loner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got an AA meeting to go to. What do you guys think? Can a group of like-minded people form an organization without it becoming rule-filled and exclusive? Or are all these guys just full of crap? Because they are. So full of crap their eyes are brown. Comment or leave a video response. Uh, I don't think I buy it. All organizations are gangs, right? Yeah, I don't know where Vermont gets his weird ideas from. Well, I'm off to my Dom support group. We've got two new initiates to evaluate. And I've got a Secret Council of Extraordinary Coincidence Club meeting tonight. We're editing our club's bylaws. This evening, it's Chapter 6, Subsection C, Paragraph 4. Yeah, and I've got a Game of Thrones discussion to mediate. And if I'm not there, the members forget the discussion rules and get all out of control. If Aria Love 456 wastes our time with any more of her slash fiction, I'm gonna have to block her from the boards. Oh, can I join? Raul doesn't like the show, and if I don't talk to somebody about the Red Wedding, I'm gonna explode. Sure, but you gotta answer a questionnaire about the show before you can join. We just don't let anybody in. Hey guys, it's me. This is going to be a really short Intimate Questions because no one has asked me any questions for this segment. I can wait. Just leave them down in the comment section. Please. Anyway, uh, a good friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, John C. Wilson, um, asked me to um, send him some puppet love. And I have, and you can see that video on his channel, and that's going to be down in the comments section, uh, along with a link to his channel. Um, I love working with John C. Wilson, and if you don't recognize the name, I'm sure you recognize his daughter's name, Kiara. Um, it was great fun working with him, and um, I hope to do it again. Sorry about there not being anything last week at all, including a Google Hangout. Um, a few things got in the way of that. Uh, namely, we had uh, brownouts because we had a sudden heat wave last week up in my neck, or my part of the woods, you know, the, the area that I live in in California. Anyway, that's it. Leave some comments down below. Anyway, that's it. Uh, uh, duh. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Um, anyway, that's it. Um, until next time, you guys. Geez, I can't believe how badly we're backed up with these shoutouts, Oswald. Well, to quote Frankenstein, being popular is a curse. Yeah, but we have more than a thousand unshouted shoutouts. What were you doing while I was gone? Um, uh, Oswald, what were you doing? I said, you need to have your ears checked. I don't think they can taste sound anymore. Oswald! Oh look, it's time to do the shouty parties. No time to answer your question. Hi everybody, thanks for getting me off the hook. Um, I mean, thanks for getting me off the hook. No! I mean, thanks for subbing. Hello, Chantel Natasha. Your name sounds like it would smell pretty. Smite the unholy. Is your name Smite or are you telling me to kill people? Sir Bad 11. It means something to you and that's what's important. Ben Riley. You have an old person's name. Like, oh look, there's old Ben Riley. He remembers what mammoth tastes like. Visnia Craft. I don't know what a Visnia is, or a craft one. So thank goodness for you, outdoor astronomer. I tried to be an astronomer indoors, but all I discovered was constellation bedroom ceiling. Fergie, 1982. Fergie was cute back in 1982. 
before all the unpleasantness. Agar Lesape. That's a wizard name. You teach at Hogwarts? Michael John Burgess. Thanks for your full name, Mike. Can I have your social security number next? Ninja Whale 03. If you get killed by a ninja whale, then you are the most unobservant person in the world because whales are big and noisy. Especially when they're on the land dressed like a ninja trying to kill people. It's like they're made of blubber and noise. In fact, I wish they would just shut up sometimes. Stupid ninja whales. Jeff Craft. I took Jeff Craft class at the Learning Annex. Proto Borg. Aww. A little baby Borg all pale and creepy with all them wires coming out of his body. Eichnar. Are you from Eternia? Do you know Skeletor? 55 Metal Monkey. Metal? I thought monkeys like Christian rap. Cardia Skepsi. This is either a character from Star Trek or some form of exercise. Also from Star Trek. New Normal Baby Boomer. Um, I will concede the normal part, but if you are a baby boomer, you are way past new. Steven Hatrack. Come on, Steve. Your parents are playing a trick on you. Nobody is named Hat Rack. Your real name is Steve Three Speed Variable Mixer. Eric Ginsley. Ninsley. Or is the K pronounced like Knizzly? You know, like Knight or Knife. English is a stupid language. Dan Gartman. Gartman, da na 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 Gartman. Wait, what's it, Gart? Impending death production. Is that like what you tell people you do for a living? You're like, hey, buddy, what do you do? And you say like, oh, I'm in impending death production. And then they like, do this. You know, back away slowly. Cause they're scared. Okay, thanks everybody, and if we miss your shouty thingy, please send us a PM so me, Jason, can ignore it. I mean, include you. Bye. Where do you think you're going? Um, I got an appointment with, uh, elbow doctor. Oh, no you don't. Now you tell me what you did instead of shoutouts while I was gone. Fine! I couldn't do the shoutouts because I was sad. My bestest friend was kidnapped and sometimes I... Well, I just couldn't do it without you. Oh. Thanks, Oswald. That's... That's very sweet. I had no idea that my absence had impacted you that much. Fine, fine, stop asking me! Instead of doing the shoutouts, I would hide under my bed in my underwears, reading Archie comics and eating Malamars. You didn't hear a word I said, did you? Not really. I only pay attention to, like, half the things you say. Well, that helps explain a lot of our interactions, actually. I love baby hippos, too! Jeez, I can't believe how badly we're backed up with these shout-outs, Oswald. Let's do it again. Perfection. Fix my mustache. No, actually, thank you. Reading, reading, reading. You read good.